Here's a case where I'm going to go in and browse photos. Um, I see them in a timeline. You notice, again, using these tabs overlaying different content, but I want to find a particular fun picture of, um, of a relative's child. I see I could just scan through. Uh, once I get close, I scan from month to month. I'm getting close. Up oh, there it is. I find the picture that's uh, that I'm looking for, and um, I pull it up. Uh, great shot. And, um, and now I can... Uh, to show folks and, and move on. Now, one of the other things we did is we developed this browsing application. So here I'm presenting my entire 10,000 photo photo library randomly. So this looks like any screensaver you've seen, but there's a catch. This one's dynamic. By having a natural motion interface, I can pick one. I see a particular shot from a vacation that I took. I could pull it up and explore more from that particular vacation, um, hence, really change my experience. So rather than have a static experience, I can change it. If you have an Apple TV, you know that with the traditional up, down, left, right, you can't do this kind of thing. You can get exposed to the photos, but you can't manipulate them. When I put a pointer in your hand, I have a much different um, capacity to interact and enjoy and consume my content.